All right, let's do a new training program. And uh, this one we'll do on saving a search. Um, you're going to want to, as you can see here on my screen, I've got several save searches here. One is like my listings. So I can always just bring up my listings. One's all the new construction in town. Some of these are very old, like four years ago I created them, but areas A through E from 65 to 125K, A through F under 85,000. Uh, the office listings, that's a must have with your own floor duty. It's much faster than the book. Here's one with all townhomes, patio homes, all the homes in Lake Nasworthy, and then areas A through D under 100,000. So I can always just click one of those and go straight to it. How you do that is, there's another bunch of saved searches I have that don't show up on my homepage. Your homepage will only hold about 10. So, like, I can look this year at all the homes that have sold in Area A from January 1st to today. So it helps me do those CMA letters. Uh, so if I wanted to do save a search for all of the office listings, what I would do is probably choose all property types so vacant lots pull up there too because you're going to need to know those as well on floor calls so I would do all property types I want to pull up active and under contracts because someone will call on a sign and it might be under contract if you can't find it on your search it's going to take you a couple minutes it doesn't look as good so you want to know you want to pull up all the actives and under contracts on an office search then I go down and under listing office I'm going to type ERA and it'll bring up our company click on it so I'm going to pull up all the listings for ERA Newland the company that are active under contract under contract with option or under contract with contingency and then I just hit enter you can go click the search button if you want so there's 107 properties total since there's 107 it takes a second for this to pull up here they are so there's all the listings that someone would be calling on then in your drop down box up here, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and it says save search. Click save search, go. Once you hit go, it's going to ask you to name it. So like I name it office listings. You can name it whatever you'd like, whatever you would remember. Type that in here, save search, and it's saved. Um, if you go back, if you wanted to save them just for all of your listings instead of doing the office you would do a last name on an agent so put in my last name I'm gonna click on my name and enter hey Sir Ryan hi how are you I'm good I'm doing a training video so here's all my listings I'll do the same thing click the drop down go to the bottom save search type in my listings or whatever save it so that's how you save a search it's pretty easy um, I would say I would save a few just to get used to doing it this is also going to help you in the future when you start assigning these searches to a client so if someone is looking for a three bedroom two bath in College Hills under a hundred thousand you can set up a search for that property type and assign it to a certain client so when that when a property comes up on the market in that price range, it emails it directly to the client. They think you went and looked and did it, but it did it automatically. We'll do that in another video. So here's saving searches. Thanks.